So, in the last episode, we saw that Baba Kal Mahadev had just walked into the cave. Now, you and I know that this was just an ordinary cave. We know that there was no killer goddess or other evil spirits lurking there waiting to battle it out with Babaji. We know that as the gullible millions watched in awe and amazement, Baba Kal Mahadev simply walked into the cave, broke off a stalagmite and walked back out again. But... As he walked out, now that's a scene that no one would ever forget. All around him, as far as the eye could see, into the horizon and beyond, the hills looked like they were carpeted with humanity. No one had ever seen so many people in one place before. It was like the endless ocean, if you think that every drop of water was a human being. For a moment, as Karl Mahadev walked out and he, as he held up the stick of stalagmite, there was an audible hush of silence, almost as though all of creation had stopped breathing. And then the cheer had erupted and it had sounded a little bit like the universe exploding. The people had rushed forward to throw themselves at Babaji's feet and the garlands and the flowers, you know, if someone had not lifted up Babaji just at that moment and put him on their shoulders, he would have been crushed to death under the weight of those flowers alone. But as the air around him got thicker and thicker from all of that incense and sweat and the heat from all those bodies, and as the roars of devotion and adoration got louder and louder, it was so hypnotic that for a moment, even Karl Mahadev forgot that he had not actually battled the goddess at all, that he had just walked into the cave and back out again. And by the time the chant of his name had echoed across the hills and started to bounce off the heavens, it cast such a spell on him that even Karl Mahadev started to believe in the stories of his own heroism. And as all of humanity pressed forward to try and kiss his feet, he did not even notice that tiny, itchy little red dot that had appeared just above his right ankle. The celebrations of uh, Karl Mahadev's victory over the goddess went on all night, and it was almost dawn by the time he got back home. Being a hero is very hard work. Do you know he had not even had a moment to himself, not even to put that stalagmite down for a second. By the time he got back home in the early hours of the morning, it was still sitting on his lap. But by now he was so exhausted, he didn't really think of what he wanted to do with it. He was so tired, he barely managed to reach out and place it on his bedside table before he fell asleep. He was so tired. He did not even notice that the itch above his right ankle had become just a little bit worse. Now, I know that none of you believe in all this divine curse stuff. Neither did Baba Kal Mahadev. But when he woke up in the morning, to his extreme annoyance, he found that he could not lift up the stalagmite from his bedside table. It had got stuck to where he had put it down. And this was most annoying because, well, this was the symbol of his power. He wanted to carry it out with him. He wanted to display it to the public. But it was stuck tight. And short of carrying the whole bedside table out with him, there was no option but to leave it behind where it was. Next to his bed, with its jagged sharp edge pointing directly at his pillow as he went off to work. Karl Mahadev spent the whole day being very distracted. His admirers had gotten louder, his itch was getting worse, and all he could think about was his stalagmite and how to prize it off the table. But when he got back into his room, all thought of everything left his mind because something strange had happened to the stalagmite. The stalagmite had started to give off a perfume, a perfume so incredible that it erased everything from his mind and left him with a feeling of pure, unadulterated ecstasy. It's hard to explain, but the, the perfume made him feel like he was at the crest of a climax, of a, of a never-ending series of climaxes. 
it was so mind-numbingly addictive that Karl Mahadev could not move. He just lay there on the bed next to the stalagmite, wallowing in the feeling that the perfume had created, soaking it up, breathing it in, drowning in it. The world outside completely forgotten as he fell asleep in that whirlpool of ecstasy with his right knee tucked up into his stomach so he, he could gently keep itching at his right ankle.